episode 1262 of the Wonder Family Collective. Today, let's talk about scenario planning. And I know that we've talked about this many times on the Multifamily Collective uh, or in the prior naming of Multifamily Collective known as uh, Apartment Hacker. But the scenario planning that, that I'd like to get in front of this community uh, today and in the days to come, months to come, years to come is the scenario planning that would prepare you for another pandemic-like situation that will inevitably come at us in some way, shape, or form over the course of the next decade or sooner. Um, I'll stop short of calling it a crisis because I think that term is super highly politicized these days and used for all the wrong reasons. Um, but I think it is necessary for an organization to get themselves prepared for moments in time that will inevitably come. And one of the methodologies that you can use to do that is red teaming. Uh, in other words, you set up a team inside of your organization that acts out the part of a pandemic or acts out the part of a, a cyber warfare unit or acts out the part of a, uh, you know, an adverse scenario where you have an active um, gunman or shooter in a building and you you play out those scenarios for the reason of preparing your organization for a real live event that will inevitably come your way. To the extent that you can dramatize that in a way that is not traumatizing to people, but does prepare them, does simulate a situation that seems almost real, uh, it gets you ready for the moment. Um, it shows you where you have gaps in your response or gaps in your reaction, uh, the healthy form of reaction. You want response rather than reaction, but sometimes you have to react in a moment, especially in a moment that is just, uh, that necessitates a, a quick response without a lot of thought. Anyway, the point is, Find a methodology that allows for you to create in your organization a scenario that exposes the gaps, exposes the weakness in your response so that you can shore that up between now and the next time something happens. Now, God willing, nothing will happen uh, over the course of the next decade, but I think history suggests otherwise. Um, I think modern times and current uh, climates uh, whether they be pol political or otherwise, are creating uh, discord. Um, not, not everywhere and not always and not with all things, but there is a fair amount of discord in our world. And I think we need pre to be prepared for that, both uh, for site team members and also for our corporate team members or people who are working from home that might be uh, exposed to scenarios that are uh, related to your organization, to our organizations, and we need to be prepared for that. So my encouragement to you is to find a methodology, whether it be red teaming um, or otherwise, and play those scenarios out over the course of the, uh, the balance of 2022 so that leading into 2023, you are prepared for that kind of moment in your organization. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.